Here's the, the other main game. Triff got made to start by Tefun. Now Triff, Tefun gets to choose again. What what is Triff possibly going to know? He has no idea whether he's going to be going forward in first or second right now. This is going to be a complete toss of the dice on Triff's part, but you know, depending on what Typhoon, do, I I think you just have to go first. You're going second, and Pendulum it just seems far too difficult. Well, um, tr it's, I guess Triff proved game one. You can go second with Pendulum. Yeah, well, with the right hand, with the right hand. Yep, yeah, with the right hand, like you can go second indeed. But oh, damn, this is this is this is a real tough situation for Typhoon here. Let's see how he uh, pans this out. Again, thank you to everyone who has joined us. I really appreciate you guys hyping this up and joining us for this event. It means a lot that we can have this many people out in the community excited for these matches. Please make sure you smash that follow button. Keep donating towards the prize pool. And make sure you subscribe to Triff Gaming on the YouTubes. That's Triff Gaming on YouTube. And this is why they banned Triff. Yes, this is why they banned Triff. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't hit time in the round yet, boys. <laughs> Ooh, low blow. Low blow. How long have they been playing for? Do we know? I'm not sure. I don't know. Uh, Jordan with the left jab. No, uh, Typhoon going first. Typhoon goes first. Yeah, I, I feel like you just had to go first after uh, going down to, oh, you can't really risk it. So now's the question. Did Treff say then Mare Mare and hand traps? I feel like or Treff... does he have fog blades and <laughs> And the uh, Yang Zing engine in his deck. <laughs> Kevin donates, say, uh, Kevin Buchholz donates, saying, I wish Kevin Carter would play instead of Typhoon. He would win because he is the most valuable player and honorable. That's an interesting <laughs> donation, right? <there. laughs> interesting donation. Mate, guys, make sure if you, you support your, uh, you support your, uh, um, your Triff uh, here with the caps in the chat. That is a caps only stream, boys. Let's, uh, I don't know if I want to put up another poll, uh, but you know, this is gonna Ooh. have to hopefully oh. we have, we have started with a gate and a foolish, so that is really powerful. But again, we've seen, we've seen Treff play through four in the gates, <laughs> so we can't get him out just yet. Treff can play through four in the gates. He's probably going to be able to do it again. Let's, uh, let's see what he does. He, maybe, he can't, maybe he can't play through six in the gates. <laughs> Can you see? Like, can, you, can this list like literally make six negates? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if Tayfood goes with the strategy of just fucking negate everything. And see how it goes. Um, it can work. A good just... player will play around you negating the right cards. So if you're if you negate the wrong cards, it might fuck them. Just updating so, the Chef Gaming uh, using a code in there that we don't want to use. We want to use Farfa Five. Uh, yeah. YGLCity.com. Just, uh, just mute that real quick, guys. Remember, that's a that, uh, Triff. You know, you guys re uh, realize Triff's. You know, he's not, he's a, he's a, he's a little bit slow with the maths and stuff and the computers. Uh, he he actually misspelled that correctly. He's got the wrong website there. It's YGLCity.com with far for five. All right, Lamia and uh, Copernicus. I think what was it? He yep. synchro there. Yeah. No, so he's linking Copernicus oh, he's with linking. Uh, Arcworm, so he's going to make himself an electron, right? <clears throat> I see him. You can't play versus four negates if you, your opponent doesn't use them. Oh shit! <laughs> Electromite gonna be. Is he gonna activate so, this? An, yep, he was on F. We didn't see an ogre this time. We know for a fact Triff one hundred percent plays Ghost Ogre. Typhoon uh, deciding that I guess he just like has to go through it, has to play through, sending the jackal Send here. Jackal. Ooh, we got Zephrath. I see another negate. So Jackal is in a gate. The Zephrath is going to send a Zephranoi, which is in a gate. We've got a Lamia in the grave, which we might be using to make a Dawn Dragster with any of the level sixes. So he can make Dawn Dragster with the Zephranoi and the Lamia. So that sets up Dawn Dragster. The Zephranoi sets up this Divine Strike. You'll have his Jackal. So that's three negates on board so far. So we're just needing that fourth right now. Yeah, he might just be saving the ogre for the Zephra. Yeah, that's 2000 IQ. <laughs> it doesn't care about Electromite. Uh, that's the gate zero being activated here for his low skill. Gonna pop that and uh, add back the 
suppose it's not too big of a deal we here. Gonna go for Jackal. Jackal. Yeah. Gonna draw we want card. the Jackal to not be in a zone that the, the Electromite's pointing to. We yeah, want that true. clear so we get enough room for extra monsters, extra deck monsters. So it's currently scale 7, so he should have another low scale on his hand. Be able to complete this. That's still three negates on the board I see so far. So he has got a 7 in his extra deck, so if he has a, uh, an access to another level 7, that will allow him to get a fourth negate. There's the pendulum call. So that will get harmonizing. Oft, oft. Are, we, are we playing Janky Magician in this list? Uh, do, 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 do. We are indeed. We so are that's indeed. another 7. So I think Tafin should have 4 negates here again. <laughs> Whether or not Triff should be able to play through it. <laughs> Whether or not Triff can play through it <laughs> again. Oh, God. Oh. Well, uh, I would be very disappointed to see this full series end without having seen Triff go first and uh, put up some negates. I mean, I guess technically he did go first, but it was a bit weird because, you know... I, I think yeah, he maybe... went first and he set up three negates. Maybe he sided a bit awkwardly. I don't he know, had but... three negates and an ogre. That's pretty powerful. 99% success rate. So we've got the uh, harmonizing in the hands. Going to get the janky. We're, yeah, we're, so we're probably our four gates. Our Ranui, our harmonizing, and our jackal. Our harmonizing is going to get our janky from our deck, most likely. We're just, uh, we're just really curious um, what kind of uh, play that uh, Typhoon can do past that four negate. Because uh, he did have a bit of a misstep in game one. Uh, not re recognizing the danger that purple poison would be being activated in the scale. See how he plays through this diff uh, differently this time. Meme Goblin, thank you so much for the five donation. If only Triff could negate his receding hairline. One good point equals one hair. Damn. Oh. Well. <laughs> Damn. Well, you're gonna have to eat that. Uh, eat your words soon, because uh, if the if these duels keep going like this, it might just be uh, that money where uh, it might just be with Triff. Um, that the money's going towards. We're going to plug Triff's YouTube again. Subscribe, subscribe to Triff Gaming on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Triff with the trash the chat. talk. <laughs> Triff with the trash talk. Uh, Triff, if you 4-0 Typhoon, if you 4-0 him, I will personally pay for your postage and packaging, okay? <laughs> oh, I don't know if you want to pay postage and packaging from Canada. <laughs> Bell Delphin with a pound donation as well. Hit or miss. Thank you, guys. Hit or miss. Da, 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 da. Can no. we not? I know. You know, guys. Okay, so we have got our four negates again. This time, Tiffin didn't have to pay half his life points to get it. <laughs> he just has to bring back that Lamia uh, and sync up with we've the got a here. Zephyrus scale seven. Why is that relevant? Oh, because he's going to. Oh, no, he, oh. No, he knows. Knows. Did he pinch zero? Eight zero, and he can't do that. Oh shit, oh. Typhoon! We gotta, we gotta, we gotta go back, Typhoon. Uh, <clears> this is unfortunate. Right, right, we're gonna, we're gonna rewind here. That is, damn, that's a lot of chats in the chat. Okay, right, don't worry, boys, we're fixing that here. Uh, so we're just gonna rewind the game state. Uh, to I guess we have to go before the pendulum summon. I guess technically he'd be able to take back the Zephyr. I mean, yeah, so. So, so he's summoning the dark arm instead of the get zero here. Mm. <clears throat> very unfortunate. This is something I myself looked overlooked. Yeah. Yeah, we all missed it. Triff himself missed it until chat called it out. So uh, get cut some uh, cut typhoon some slack, boys. Okay. One thousand people are gonna catch this <laughs> over the two three commentators. Uh. So is that what is that a purple poison from the hand instead? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I guess there's just no point in using the harmonizing. Yeah. Uh, is he going to change his mind here? Yeah, yeah he, no, he, he is, is going to go for... Okay, that's his pendulum summon. Um, and he the said these, so that means no more changing. Getting another black four from the deck. So what rank fours is Tiffin playing? Uh, I think it was uh, Tornado and... Tornado Castell, Karen Gorgon, and Dweller. You think Dweller is good against Pendulum? Like specifically. Mm. Darkworm? Yeah. And Boots, Darkworm and Strudel, maybe, if he's playing that. Yeah, I, I, I swear. I, I remember. Uh, 
um, Triff made Dweller in one of his games, didn't he? I'm not sure. A against, so Ro was, against Rohan. So we still got that Lamia, that Lamia can come back and make the Dawn Dragster with her Zephranomy. That's what's about to happen here. So we don't have four Negates, we have three Negates and a Pop with the Tornado Dragon. Basically a Negate with Pendulum. It's, against it's, Pendulum, rather. It's, yeah. it's still pretty good, still pretty good. It's, yeah, it's some scale interruption. It's not having the vortex is uh, kind of painful, but it should be fine. <clears throat> it's fine, bro. Triff got to start up the turn here. Six cards in hands. No hand traps whatsoever drawn there, despite the fact that he is siding three Veiler, three Ghost Ogre, and Droll, I believe. Droll as well, and he's gamma? a ninth, uh, tenth hand trap. Oh no, Gamma. That's that's. Typhons. Yeah, it's Typhons uh, and Permanence as well. Now the question is, has uh, Triff decided to put in the Mare Mare package? Personally, if I was in Triff's position, I'd be very confident putting in the going second package, just because. You know, you're two up against your opponent. They're probably a little bit tilted from uh, the previous two games. Uh, I think naturally your reaction would be like, fuck, uh, I messed up. I'm just going to go first and stick to the game plan. Uh, so in Trish's position, I personally, I'd feel pretty confident in wanting to uh, put in the, si the the going second package here. So we'll just see exactly what he has here. He's thinking about his hand here. Maybe he's top deck something pretty important. <clears throat> Starting off with a Curtain Razor. Activating that in the scale. Declaring effect. Most likely not going to be popping here. Vlad, you're breathing a little. Oh, sorry. A th thing is, though, is that um, the Curtain Razor can attack over the Dawn Draxer. Slash the Tornado Dragon. If it does yep. mm, so he is just going to negate that. Yep. Um, so yeah, I guess he's uh, probably anticipating the uh, what's it called, um, the potential curtain raiser attack over the Dawn Drag. So, so he might as well just use it now because it is twenty one hundred uh, with no other monsters on the field. Rob twenty two hundred. Yeah, twenty two. Uh, Rob Kick, thank you so much for gifting us up there. Darren Stevenson has a sub. Oh God, how unfortunate! How unfortunate! <laughs> <clears throat> Darren gets a sub and I don't smile. Triff thinking. Oh, here comes uh, Jealous Alliance without a scale. Really, Triff? Uh, really, no, 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 no. His, 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 his opponent has a scale, so he can't. What? Oh, really? Is that yeah. how it works? Yo, we just yeah, got. Do. Oh, shit. There is a... If there is a oh, card in a pendulum that... zone. Oh. just had to eat up two, like, two cards to put that in the gate. Pen Double call pendulum again. call. You cannot activate this card if you activate a monster. You can only activate one Pendulum Call. Okay, so Pendulum Call does say activate and not use. So despite this... Event Strike doesn't get activation. Yeah, it doesn't say... Uh, who's, uh, this is going to be a rather weak Pendulum Summon, though. Yeah, he's... And we still have the Jack on the gate as well. Yeah, we still have the Monster in the gate um, as their final stop. But Triff is only going to be really... He's only going to have one card to Pendulum Summon. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is not looking good at all for Triff. Nothing good discarded, unfortunately. Um, he no is, Dark Worms. Yeah, no Dark Worms discarded there. Uh, this is probably going to be a loss for Triff, I think. I don't really see how he uh, manages to get out of this one. <clears throat> Once again, guys, the Joost Alliance was not illegal because it does work if your opponent has Pendulum skills. Yep. You do not need to have any. Reminder stream, Pendulum pe Alliance, fun fact. Uh, it only needs a scale on the field to be active, not necessarily your own. A card in the Pendulum Zone, yeah. Slightly embarrassing ourselves, uh, not catching Big that. Big ups to uh, Rob Keck, <laughs> letting me use my own emotes. Oh shit, Rob Keck gifting us up to uh, uh, Vlad. Yo, Vlad, you've, you've been, you've been uh, what's the word? You've been flying. Some good points. Yeah, you've been, yeah, you've been getting good boy points for free for four months now. Well done, congratulations. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> thanks, Jordan. Glad you noticed that immediately. Good job. <laughs> yeah. I played Pendulum for six months and that never came out once. It's quite interesting to learn that eventually. And we have a Freudian slip I, from I, Triff. I was the one who the... noticed that. Screw you guys. We have it. We have a we have a, uh, a Freudian slip in the chat by Triff. Think sex. <laughs> 
Uh, remember, stream, if uh, if anyone here uh, wants to uh, correct Trev, he will indeed sleep with your girl. Uh, I actually uh, was told that by him just before the game started, so make sure that you understand. Freudian slip is when you say one thing and... Okay, okay, all right, okay. So we're going for purple poison. <clears throat> Ah, purple poison. Do you think we're going to be seeing some kind of like scale, scale, attack, pop? Hope so you survive a turn. pop because of the pendulum call again. Uh, so he's just, it's interesting uh, that he discarded harmonizing. That's a really powerful one. So the other card in his hand is maybe another harmonizing, honestly. Because he just didn't add one with pendulum call there. Going second, his options for rank four, he doesn't really have anything. He's got Nightmare for going first. He's not signing any rank fours. He's got Tornado as the only other potential rank four for Lynx. I guess just Phoenix, I suppose, is the only thing. Um, so I mean, yeah, you probably you, you probably need to have the the harmonizing, but oh, he's gonna go into a for the normal that will eat up Jackal. Purple poison gonna sacrifice itself into the Jackal, and he is going to remove. So then he's gonna play some scales, and he's probably just gonna pendulum summon that purple poison back out and end his turn. He's gonna get rid of Zephraf. Okay. Oh, actually, he's trying to starve. He's trying to starve Tefin here. Maybe hope Tefin can't kill him. That's an interesting line of play. Let me get but rid he of knows that, that Tefin has the purple poison in hand if he was trying Shouldn't, to Shouldn't. I'm pretty sure Tefin has a Zephyr Providence in his graveyard that he can just uh, protect that with. Oh, yeah, he wait. Did he negate the purple poison? Oh, no. Oh, no. That means purple poison triggers again. Oh, then... okay. Triff just decided to pop up Zephrath again. And okay. then the Providence comes to him. He decided he doesn't want it in the extra deck to be Pendulum Summoned back out. Yeah, so he doesn't yeah. get that, that was actually, uh, yeah, that was, that was, so, that was really so, smart. So what, he, so what he did there is he, he saw that he popped the Zephrath and noticed that that was a misplay and decided that Triff will probably, if he negates it, pop the Zephrath again because he did it the first time. Why wouldn't he do it again? Then on the second time, you protect it with the Providence that Triff seems like he's forgotten about. And then you you got the purple poison in the graveyard instead of the extra deck. 